lines. As for the boys, though, it looks like they are going to be running a pretty counter divey composition. Uh, they're going to have the Zarya and the Diva to eat up a lot of incoming damage. Uh, Mustafa going to be playing on that Farah. Uh, both teams playing the Farah, of course, on this stage. Very good map for Farah, and both running the Farah Mercy as well. Uh, going to be interesting to see which one comes out on top, but we're actually going to see the boys fully commit to this fight. 6v5, and they're going to take down Dystopia Kitty very early, and that is a good call coming out from the boys here to take the 6v4 fight, or 6v5 rather, as Henna is off to the side trying to get some damage done. Gets Asian out of the mech, so some work is being done by Henna here, keeping the team in the fight, but now taken down very low and taken out of the sky. And it looks like the boys are going to be able to take this point first. They still need to clean up some of the girls here, but they do. They manage to clear off the point, and they take it first. And Sophia going down again here. Uh, but finally, the rest of these kills are starting to come in here for the boys. Lady Shoot's going to be the last one standing here, but going to fall herself. And that's going to be the boys holding strong here, getting up to 15% on the board. And actually, a couple of ultimates are already ready for them. They've got Dead Easter with the Death Blossom and Superb very, very close to that. Graviton going to be getting it up here with just another one or two uh, lob shots. So... Gonna be looking for a chance to set that up against the wall, perhaps, and no, getting booped out there, so not gonna be able to get the Reddit ult into the, uh, the the well there, but still gonna be looking for a chance to set it up. Actually, not gonna be necessary, as all of these kills are going to come in without it. And then manages to get one going in the other way, but yeah, there's the Death Blossom coming in, possibly not necessary there, coming out from Dead Easter, and the Res as well from Goat Pounder, definitely not necessary, as they had def they had already won that fight. Uh, with flying colors, but still holding strong. They've got the Graviton and the Rocket Barrage to continue holding here. Uh, Asian Troll hasn't really been able to, uh, you know, get that, that self-destruct up quite effectively. Been out of the mech a lot, but in it right now, getting that charge up, and they are still holding strong. The girl's going to be rotating all the way around through the white room, and uh, while well, Dystopia taken down again by a nice lob shot from Superb, staying at high charge this entire time, and getting out a lot of damage. So, girls going to be trying to push in a one person down, but they've got a few ults to do with. Henna almost up to the Rocket Barrage as well, but there is going to be the Rocket Barrage into the Graviton. That's going to get two, but the Res comes in for the girls, so they're going to keep this push going, and they now have the ultimate advantage to do it. They've got the Tac Visor coming in, and there they are. Dystopia contributing to those kills, and yeah, there they are. They're going to push in onto this point. Uh, going to desu Asian right as overtime kicks in, but going to retake this point are the girls and start taking up some control percentage of their own. 99% <clears throat> though for the boys, and they're going to come in with both of their support ultimates ready to go. The Resurrect and the Transcendence are ready. Uh, Asian Troll very close to the self-destruct as well. Of course, Lady Truth with a self-destruct of her own, going to be looking for a chance to use it right now, I think, but... Uh, it looks like most of the boys are going to be rotating around to the right side, so not really getting an opportunity for it yet. And actually, Mustafa going to get the first kill here, taking down Sarah. self shot going to have to come in now, but not going to get anything from it for Asian Troll. And then Earth Shatter coming down, laying down a couple of them, but the kills going the other way. Henna trading one of her own, but there is the offensive res coming in from Goat Pounder. And we are not going to see a res coming in from Vivio as Vivio went down there, and boys. Push back in here. They are taking this point right back. Only 47, 48% on the board for the girls. And the boys retake. They are not going to allow anyone to touch it. And they're going to go up 1-0 here on Li Zhang Tower. We're going to be coming into the night market next. Boys up one to nothing here. Looking to solidify their lead. From what I heard, they were the team that came out on top during the scrims last night, but things can change. These girls are playing well. But 
We're gonna see Mary, who swapped onto the Reinhardt, trying to get up here a little bit late. But team pushing up behind the shield, and they're trying to get established on the point, but it's going to be Hannah actually getting the first kill and Dystopia as well. So here we go, the DPS for the side of the girls going off now, and they are going to get the first few kills here on this point and definitely get moving in. Gonna be trying to take down Troll, and yet he is gonna be desuited and then taken down by a nice rocket. That is gonna be the girls taking first control here and getting their percentage ticking up on the market. Uh, Dead Easter with the Pulse Bomb ready to go, uh, but nothing else ready for the side of the boys, and, uh, you know, nothing for the girls either, but Dead Easter, this Pulse Bomb going to be huge, gonna be looking for a pick with it very early, gonna see what we can get done with it, gonna be throwing it in probably here, but not able to make anything happen, take it down very low, and actually Dystopia gonna be taking Dead Easter out, so not able to get any value out of that ultimate, and it's gonna be very tough for the boys to push in now. But they're going to be uh, trying to anyways. They're actually running a solo healer with Goat Pounder playing the Mercy. But, that, you know, that, I think that is a lot of their problem here is they just simply don't have the heals to deal with this. Superb King going to be taken down there. Uh, Angel Gunner taken down as well. The Reds comes in though, and they might have what they need to do it. But it, it is going to be Dystopia taken down there. But still, kills going the way of the girls. And Henna with the rocket barrage is going to completely turn this the other way. Vivio is taken down, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Angel Gunner just trying to swing on the uh, point, but gets the Earth Shatter off. Manages to take down a few, and that is actually what the boys needed. They just need to take Henna down out of the sky now. Henna going to be taken down very, very low. And Tactical Vibes are going to come out, though, for the girls. So trying to get a, an opening here is Dystopia Kitty, but no, going to be blocked out by that right shield, but delaying long enough for the reds to come in. Vivio does manage to get the reds off, and this is actually a lot of the girls getting back in here. Mary going to get a kill onto the counterpart, but the grab's gonna come out. Henna is taken down by that self-destruct, but still, the girls holding strong here as they did get that revive off, and they are able to retake. They're gonna be able to get these kills, and just need to take down Mustafa. They do. 96% on the board and ticking up. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to touch it. And no, they aren't able to. That's me, the girls taking round number two, evening things up one to one here on Lee's Arm Tower. The girls definitely not out of this just yet. They come back there and high things up. I think a lot of it has to be, uh, you know, at, at the feet of Angel swapping onto the Reinhardt there for some reason instead of playing the Zenyatta. Um, the, you know, the solo heals not enough for most of that round. Switching back onto the Zen though, going to be uh, providing that second healer for the team. And especially with Mustafa on this Farah, it's so effective. Sometimes, you know, the Goat Pounder is going to need to drop off of Farah and uh you know and try to pocket someone else for a little bit and that zen orb can keep Farah alive in the sky but it's gonna be goat taken down immediately by henna great rockets from over the top henna just laying in a ton of rockets across here and going to be getting the damage in on superb as well with almost desuiting asian troll there it is they are taking this point pretty decisively now for the girls mustafa's still behind though but not going to be able to challenge for very long. Dead Easter taken down. So that is going to be the girls taking the point very quickly. And this is a strong girl team right now. They are, I mean, on the back of Henna, really putting out a lot of damage here. Um, and these rockets, another two tap straight to Asian space. And this, you know, is great fair play coming out from Henna. So they're going to be looking for a chance to uh you know get this this resurrect built up the uh the rocket barrage almost built up as well so they are winning this ult economy war but no that's gonna be superb king coming in getting that kill but henna still laying in rocket after rocket taking down two i mean it, this 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 para play from henna is absolutely next level right now going to need to see an answer from it dead easter trying to be that answer but not able to get it done just yet Dystopia taken down low, but not going to be taken out here. So the girls are holding very, very strong. Finally, Hannah's going to be taken down. Dead Easter does manage to 
take that counter, but still might not be enough. Vivio has this resurrect, can pull it out at any time. Not going to need to just yet, but gonna be looking for an opportunity. This will be a taken down. But Mary with the Earth Shatter gonna be knocking down a few, and now the uh, self destruct coming in, going to uh, kill one and knock another out of mech. Asian Troll going to be taken very low here, and uh, this is Hannah coming back from spawn with the Rocket Barrage, taking out Dead Easter, removing that counter. So the girls continuing to hold strong. Sound Barrier has to come out from Go Founder, but it's not gonna be enough. 86% on the board here for the girls, and they are continuing to hold strong here. Vivio has the Resurrect, but they're gonna, the boys are gonna have to come in in a bit of a staggered push, and I don't know if they're gonna have time. They're going all the way up top, 98, 99%. They're not gonna be able to get on in time. Two to one for the girls. I, I really got a question, Superb King, going up top there. Just just take the fastest way. Just take the fastest way to the point. They'll go for the, the Reddit ult from up top. Superb King definitely, uh, definitely throwing the round a little bit there on that one. But girls coming back after that first round loss. And uh, coming out strong two rounds in a row here. Henna putting in a lot of work on the Pharah. So back on Night Market, we're gonna be looking to see if Henna can continue that trend or if, uh, you know, maybe they can pull it back around. Go Pounder now gonna be switching onto the Soldier 76. Uh, feels that he can counter Henna's Pharah better than Dead Easter was. So we'll have to see what happens here. But of course, this Pharah playing so well, causing a lot of problems here for this, these boys and going to be getting onto Angel immediately taking him out, not allowing that Zenyatta any value. So going to be providing an early man advantage for the girls here. And uh, they're going to use that, getting positioning on this point. And Henna still laying in rockets, taking down Go Pounder. Now going to be <laughs> coming in and trying to lay in some damage on the point. Asian Troll taken out of the suit, taken down. Superb King as well. Henna is absolutely going off right now. Up to 65, 62% on the ultimate already. And Henna is uh, just carrying the team right now, providing that constant damage for the side of the girls and there's nothing that there's no answer right now from the boys they're just unable to deal with it so we are going to have to see something happen there but it's not happening just yet Vivio going to be targeted here though they're going to be trying to take mercy out first and they do angel gunner landing that headshot at the end and now the kills are coming in for the boys. They are going to be able to uh, get in here and retake this point. Hannah not able to put the damage out quite quickly enough and finally gonna be taken down herself. But 35% accumulated here for the girls. Uh, and you know, they got a lot of time to come in there. They're very close to a lot of ultimates here. So they are going to be able to build those up before the most of the boys ults get up and come back in with oh an advantage God, but that's gonna be Vivio taken down again very early so not going to be a very good push without a mercy there to keep the team up they are committing fully to it but going to be uh, going in is the tactical visor i'm not quite sure about that getting negated most of it but now the rocket barrage as well from henna and i mean the kills are coming in for him but not quite enough as they are still losing numbers. Vivio getting targeted yet again. Now has the Resurrect up though. So we're gonna see the attack visor coming in though from Go Pounder gonna take Vivio down immediately. And again, denying that, that Mercy value. Uh, we still haven't seen the girls get in on this point since they lost it. So they are going to need to, you know, finally take a full team push here. But no, the self-destruct gonna be coming in and uh, not gonna be getting anything for Lady Truth. And yeah, it's, this is gonna be another girl push stymied as they are not really, well, never mind. As I say that, Vivio gets that res off. Kenna though, taken down immediately after. Rocket Barrage from Alcide comes in and uh, I think that is going to be enough for them to continue holding. And the thing is, the girls use a lot of ults to try to take that point. So I'm not sure, uh, you know, they, they, they definitely needed to regroup and come in as a full team and try to get a man advantage off of a pick from Hannah the way they've been doing this entire game. Unable to do that 
and uh, going to be suffering the consequences. Now coming in with one last chance to try to retake. Kind of going to have to make a play here, I think, but getting taken down very low already. And uh, this is not a good position for Henna to be in. This Earth Shatter does come in, and the damage is there to follow up. They do manage to take down two, but of course, the Angel, well, Angel doesn't use that trance, so holding on to that ultimate, very good call, uh, getting up to 99% on the board, and gonna come back in with the Transcendence ready to go. <clears throat> so, a good play by the boys here. They have time, they've got a couple of ultimates ready to go, and they definitely have time to come back in, uh, maybe even take a push or two to try to build up an ult advantage here. Kenna, the only girl with an ultimate, although no, Dystopia does come on with that tactical visor, so both both DPS ultimates are ready. Uh, it's basically going to come down to which soldier pulls out the attack visor first and is able to take down the enemy Farah. Uh, but this is actually the girls coming out on top so far. Lady Shoes is going to be desuited, but I think that's all that's going to happen here for the boys as they do not have the numbers two down already. Asian Troll going to be taken down. And this should just be the boys backing out, but we see Super trying to, uh, or Superb rather, trying to just get some charge. And it's a little risky, taken down very, very low, almost taken out of the sky. But they managed to get the kill onto the baby diva there from Lady Truth, so this might be the chance they're looking for to push in. But no, we're going to see the attack visor coming out from Go Pounder, and we'll see if it's able to get for anything. They do manage to take down Sarah Joy, and actually they are getting the kills, but Vivio has the rest. There it is. Resurrect coming in, but the Primal Rage being thrown into this tiny little graviton and long the, the self-destruct coming in does manage to turn it around for a second henna and uh and lady truth are the last ones alive henna gonna be taken down lady truth last one surviving here on the point here for the girls and going to be desuited taken down out of mech and this is gonna be the boys retaking the girls do have a chance to get back in here mary gonna be coming in on this reinhardt looking for a chance to hopefully land a pin but no ultimates really available. Mary gonna be taken down, Vivio taken down as well, Sarah taken down, and that is going to be the round going the way of the boys. Two to two here on Li Zhang Tower in our first match. And this is uh This is pretty interesting so far. For an exhibition match, you know, this is very well balanced. Well, our last map on Legion Tower is going to be Gardens. The girls lost this the first time, so they are going to need to have something different up their sleeve this time. Sarah going to be switching onto Zenyatta, so it looks like they're going to be putting a lot of uh, eggs in Henna's basket here, and I think that's a smart plan. Uh, but you know, they they also need to deal with Asian Troll, who has done a very good job of getting onto Vivio and removing that mercy value from the equation. So uh, definitely gonna need to deal with that coming into this round. And actually going to be, I think the, the oh wow, there it is, Sarah taking down Alcide. Uh, that is <laughs> exactly what I was noticing. I think that Zenyatta pick is all about taking down that boy's Farah. And I mean, Henna is taken down as well, but the number is still available for the girls here. So Go Pounder gonna be the last one left alive. Gonna have to run for his life and uh, try to regroup with this team. But the Zenyatta uh, switch from Sarah immediately paying off as she is able to put the Discord on and just lay in a ton of damage onto the, the aggressing Farah. So we are seeing a little bit of a, a weird thing in the back line here out of Go Powder. I'm not sure what he was doing all the way back there, but did get taken down there by Lady Truth and the kills now coming in for the girls as they have complete numbers and positional advantage here on the point. Vivio almost up to the resurrect. Lady Truth just getting that self-destruct up. Uh, and yeah, we are seeing the girls having a very strong hold right now uh, as they are continuing to kill. Dystopia though, taken down, but Henna getting two there with the concussion blast. Well, I know one with a concussion blast, I believe, and then another with a nice rocket, so. But the boys going to be trying to push back in. They don't have any ultimates up still. 
Altid actually switching on to the Tracer, gonna be trying to change things up a little bit, but it's gonna be Sarah taken down very quickly. Vivio with the res though, available to pick her back up and we'll see if it's necessary. Mary though, getting taken down, this is gonna be the res coming out. Henna though, getting these rockets in time after time, gonna be pulling out the rocket barrage, not able to get anything for herself, but weakening up a bunch of people for her team. And now up to 85% are the girls on this uh, on this garden stage. They just need to take down, they're gonna try to stagger Alcide here actually. And he's gonna be caught out of position, 93%, and they're gonna have to go in 5v6. Gonna be taking Henna down, so that could help them with Graviton coming in, and now they've got two kills. Vivio taken down as well. Primal Rage coming in, but the trance is there to keep the last few people of this girl's squad alive. They don't have numbers advantage anymore as all of these boys are up and on this point, but there is going to be a self-destruct coming out, does take down Angel, Hannah coming back in from spawn, picking up two of the rockets, and they are getting all of these kills. The girls are going to come out on top in this fight. Tracer gonna have to come in and just delay, but it's not gonna be enough. The Resurrect coming in for the girls, and that is gonna be the, the girls coming out on top on Legion Tower, taking it three to two after, uh, you know, losing the first round and, and Coming out like a different team in the second and, and later rounds. Uh, Gold Pounder though, coming away with the play of the game. Let's we'll see what this is. Quality. Quality. Ooh. There you go. Go Ovaries, says Atomic Kitten. Yes.